hi there everybody today i'm gonna do a bronzer and blush declutter it might just turn into a collection video because i really don't see myself getting rid of it too much because i do wear these items quite often blush and bronzer i do like to reach for them a lot and it's easy to wear them on the everyday um so yeah if you're interested in watching my collection and what i have in terms of blush and bronzer then please keep on watching okay we're going to start with bronzers here so this is my bronzer collection and let's start with this big guy this is the chanel healthy glow bronzing cream the soleil tan bronze and i haven't used this much at all um i've only used it maybe a few times so i'm gonna keep it because it's a very good product i just i forget to reach for cream bronzers so i need to be more intentional with cream so i'm gonna keep that i really don't have too many creams i have that this one also and i think one other one where is it right here so these two um are cream so this one is the fenty in macchiato uh, and i do reach for this one here and there this one i would say is the most cream most used cream bronzer that i have so i'm gonna keep this one i do use it i do like the formula and the color so that's gonna stay as well and then the next cream product is the patrick ta um, cream bronzer and this one also has a powder bronzer inside and this one's in the shade she sculpted and i've only used this one honestly once so <laughs> i need to give this a try i think i only tried the bronzer the cream formula and i haven't tried the powder bronzer so i'm gonna keep it i've heard um okay things about this formula i've heard a lot of people hyping the blush formula in the same style but the bronzer i've heard mixed reviews so i'm gonna use it and try it see if i like it um but i like the concept of having a two in one product a uh, bronzer that i do really use is this one it's the charlotte tilbury bronzer in airbrush bronzer um, medium and this one is so much product um, and the shade is really really nice i really like this bronzer and it just kind of blurs out the skin um yeah i'm gonna keep it i really don't know if i'm gonna get rid of much here so yeah i hope you're enjoying seeing my collection <laughs> the next one here is the mark jacobs bronzer in what is this tantastic this one was really hyped when it first came out and of course mark jacobs is not selling makeup anymore they closed down their beauty line so um i'm gonna keep it because i actually use this one quite often i would say this one in the charlotte tilbury and one other one that i'll show you right now those are my top um three that i reach for so i'm gonna keep this one I also have this one, which is the other one that I do reach for, which is the e.l.f. bronzer in Sunkissed, Forever Sunkissed. This one is one of those primer infused bronzers, and it's a go-to. This one never fails. It's really simple, very inexpensive, so definitely going to keep that. I do use it. Uh, let's see next one is a classic the hula benefit bronzer and this one is one of the new ones in the slimmer packaging which i like so i'm gonna keep it i did really use my original one and i since got rid of that one and kept this newer one so i'm gonna keep that one um next here is the clinique powder pop flower bronzer this one is very light um if i wear this one i do really have to build it up onto the cheeks it's a very nice formula just because it's easy and it has little flowers <laughs> printed on but yeah i wouldn't recommend this one because it, there's much better bronzers out there but it's nice i do use it if i more so during the winter when i'm a little lighter so i'm gonna keep that um i just have a few more here i think let me see i think i have two of these kylie bronzers where's the other one this one okay so toasty and tequila tan honestly i really do like these um 
these bronzers and also the blushes from Kylie. These were the original ones. Um, since then, she has updated the packaging and I don't know if the formula has changed, but these products that she initially released, I really did like. Um, I actually hit hard pan on on this a while back so i scraped off the top layer and it works really well um i think it's because i was going into these while my foundation was still a little bit wet and tacky so yeah i do really reach for these i think other than the um three that i mentioned that i use the most these two are the other ones that follow i have also a pat mcgrath um, bronzer in what shade is this it says bronze without caution I don't know if that's the name of the shade but this one is a really light shade um, I this one I recently got within the last few months so I'm gonna keep it because um, I want to use the formula it's pretty light so I don't know about the longevity of me using it and wearing it just because it's so light but I'll keep it to try it and then these two I really should use more than what I do. Um, these are beautiful formulas and if you're in the market, let me move this to the side here. Okay, so if you're in the market for luxury bronzers, I would say go for the Gucci ones. These are okay come on on the packaging is just stunning and also the formulas are so so nice let me swatch these yeah the formula is so nice and so smooth this one is a darker shade i have this one is in the shade two and this one is in three and three is actually lighter than two so i don't know if you can see that there there's two, uh three and there's two so that one is quite darker but these are so beautiful the formula is really good and like i mentioned i need to use them more than i do um just yeah these are stunning so definitely keeping those two okay and for bronzers that's it i'm not getting rid of anything there because i really do enjoy everything that i have if i were to get rid of one it would be this clinique one but i do use it like i mentioned during um the winter time so i'm gonna keep that so let me just put all of these back All right, keeping all my bronzers, so let's move on to blushes. Okay, all right, keeping all my bronzers, so let's move on to blushes. Okay, I would say honestly that blush is my favorite makeup item. Uh, it's so beautiful. I love the pink colors and how much it you know it brings to life a makeup look so i also don't anticipate me getting rid of much here but let me just show you what i have um let's start with this first one which is the essence satin touch blush in the shade satin coral i would say if you are in the market for an affordable blush that you want to perform beautifully please go and try the satin um, touch blushes from essence these are are so so nice they're very very smooth and they go on so smoothly onto the cheek I would highly recommend these I would even recommend them over some of my high-end um, blushes so yes definitely pick yourself up one of these even if you don't need a blush but are curious about trying this formula do so I would highly recommend so I'm keeping that okay so next one here is this glossier um cloud paint in spark this one is quite messy it's a wet liquid formula and it just gets everywhere i have used it once or twice and it's very highly pigmented but it almost to the point where it stains where you place it so it doesn't really blend well at least the time that i used it it kind of didn't really blend well and i think i might have let it sit for too long before i blended it 
Um, I like it because it is a red color. I don't have anything like it in my collection. So I'm going to keep it for now. Give it a try. If I don't end up using it and within the next few months, I will get rid of it during my next declutter. Okay, so I have a cream blush by Fenty in the shade Petal Poppin'. And I think I have one more. Yes, it's right here. And this one is in Summertime Wine. This shade is gorgeous, the Summertime Wine. Um, look how beautiful and deep that is. Let me swatch that right over here. That's such a nice flush of color there so i'm gonna keep that one for sure and this one is more of a you know a regular pinkish color it's nice too i just don't reach for it that much but let me put it in a maybe pile maybe i'll get rid of this i don't think i need it because it looks like some of the other ones that i have but i'll put it right over here for now this is staying this is one of the gucci blushes in the shade rosy beige and it's really soft it's stunning this formula again these blushes and bronzers from gucci i highly recommend let me swatch that i added a light and i hope you can see that better but this one is the gucci it's really beautiful it's um a little deeper than some of the ones I have, actually, now that I look at it, it might be similar to this one from ColourPop Flirt Alert. Um, they're pressed powder blushes. Let me swatch it next to it. I'm not really sure, but I think it might be a little similar. Uh, <laughs> let me try that again. No, that one has more more pink to it never mind never mind those are not similar at all but i would highly recommend the gucci formula so definitely keeping this the packaging is stunning look at the little stars on there i love it but this one from ColourPop, i do like this formula it's pretty basic um i would say it does last well on the skin but it's nothing you know nothing that stands out it's a matte formula it does save on pretty nicely i have two of these actually so i have that one in flirt alert and then this one in let's dance and i like this shade it's a little bit brighter let me swatch that also and that is there so i'm gonna definitely keep this one in let's dance this one i'm not sure if i really need it i have a lot of blush this one is also going in the maybe pile along with that one just to check out at the end but let's move on to these kylie blushes like i mentioned with the bronzers i do like this formula it does perform really well and i actually think it really smooths um really nicely on the skin it kind of smooths out my pores i don't know if that's just my experience if you have tried these let me know if you experience that too but these are really nice i'm gonna keep both of them all right next we have this little trio from anastasia it has three shades here and i actually do reach for this during the spring a lot i kind of either like to use this shade on the cheeks or i just swirl them all together i do like this it's not that new i think it's quite old but i'm gonna keep it because i do use it it's in peachy love so i'm gonna keep that trio all right so moving along i have an hourglass blush in sublime flush and this one is a stunning stunning shade it's pretty light let me see if i can swatch it yeah yeah it's more of a lighter brighter shade and it does have some luminescence in it i'm gonna keep it because this formula from hourglass is really beautiful so that's staying as well Okay, and then this Laura Mercier Little Tinted Moisturizer Blush. I haven't used it. It's a little sample size. 
it's in the shade province is it open no it's sealed i'm gonna keep it to try it to see if i like the formula but yeah i haven't tried it yet okie dokie and this next one is a mac blush in the shade peaches this one is really nice i do like it um i like the shade as well let me see if i can swatch it this one's more of a matte formula so let me swatch it right here okay it's this one right here and it it's kind of similar to this color pop in let's dance just a little bit um more sheer i would say this one would take a little bit more to build up but i'm gonna keep it i do reach for it by the way what is your favorite blush i am very curious i'm always up to trying blushes as you can see i really love blush so let me know and give me some recommendations in the comments below this next one is the patrick ta duo um in she so la it has a cream and powder blush and this one i actually haven't used i think i swatched the cream shade ones and i again i haven't used the powder one so i just need to reach for these patrick ta products and use them and try them and see if i even like them i do have heard good things about this so i'm gonna keep it all right moving along um let's see this one in peach sunset by tarte i do reach for this one actually um for a cream formula that, that is something new that i've been reaching for because i used to never use cream formula but this one is a stunning shade i really do like this one let me swatch that right there and that shade is so lovely once it's patted onto the cheeks it looks really really nice so that one on top so i'm gonna keep that one I have a few other cream for um, cream blushes here so let me pull those out first um, are these three LYS blushes these are the higher standard blushes in humble unique and self-love summer so these are really really nice I haven't reached for them as much as I would like I think I have reached for this one um, a few times Oh no, it was this one, the more neutral one. And I really liked it. I do like that it's a matte cream formula because most cream formulas can stay really dewy on the skin. But these are, um, are matte, so I'm going to keep them. And I do like the variety of the shades that I have, so those are going to stay. And let's leave them here. Next one is another Gucci blush in um, Bright Coral. This one looks like that. Again, this one's staying. I'm keeping it. It's lovely. It's beautiful. Beautiful packaging. Yes. I have this Rose Ink in the shade Wisteria. This one um, came as a sample, so it didn't come with the packaging. I think you can buy the packaging, and I might do that just to, you know, preserve it as it should be. So, um, yeah, I've used it a few times, and I liked it, so I'm going to keep it. Um, this next one is an e.l.f. blush stick, and this one is in Cottage Life. I don't think I need to keep this, especially since I have so much blush. This was really affordable. I think I got it on a whim because I needed blush, and I just picked this up at Target. Um, but let me swatch it. Let me see if... It, let me look at the color first. It's that one right there. I might actually keep it in my car. I have a little makeup bag for on the go and that's the reason I got it. I was just on the go and I didn't have blush so I might keep it for that reason. Um, let me put in the maybe. I might keep this one instead. We'll see. Alright, so next one is this little Clinique in Cheek Pop and Fig Pop. And these are really nice. If you haven't tried these blushes from Clinique, please do so. I would say this one and the, what was the other one? The Essence Blush. They're very, you know, they're very good. They're not going to fail you if you ever need a blush go and try them um this one is very beautiful i love the shade i do often reach for for this and i'm gonna swatch that right here yeah that one is stunning it has beautiful pigment definitely keeping that 
Next, I have this Pat McGrath blush in Divine Rose uh, 3. Yes, Divine Rose 3. And this one is really nice. I actually got this recently. And the formula is really nice. It's really smooth as well. Um, it's a matte formula. And I do like it. It's, it's beautiful. So I'm going to keep this. And we're almost here at the end of this collection video. So thank you so much for sticking around if you're still here. Uh, let's see. This one is the Marc Jacobs. Um, it's a really nice shade once you blend it all together. The lighter part has a bit of shimmer and then this is um, matte. So once you kind of mix them together, it makes this beautiful satin color uh, this one i really don't know if i need to keep i don't really care too much for this formula i had another shade is um kisses and something but um it broke so yeah i don't know if i need to keep that one so i'll keep that in the maybe pile um here down to the last few this next one is the charlotte tilbury so right there, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's this one on the bottom and it has quite a bit of sheen. I am going to keep it because it's a, it's a nice formula. I need to reach for it more often. Next few, I have this MAC Mineralized Blush in Warm Soul. Very classic MAC blush here and this one has more of a sheen. It has some shiny particles in there. I do like this shade a lot. It's a very, you know, very easy shade to pop on and wear. Oh, I'm running out of space. <laughs> I have way too much blush. I don't think you can even see that shade because it's very, very light. But yeah, I'm just I'm keeping that. Next one is Laura Geller blush in rose water these are really really nice too they do have some shimmer and gl glitter i guess and, but very very finely um this one you can definitely tell there's a bit of a shine when you pop them on it's a, a baked gelato formula really nice i think um they're still on the market i hope because i really do like them let me swatch that right on top here and if you can tell it has some luminosity to it so it's not matte at all it has some shimmer in it very pretty and last one here we made it to the end this one is a new blush that i have i haven't even used it soft pinch blush by rare beauty in the shade hope let me see the shade color yeah very nice i really do want to use this shade i just don't want to open it because i know i have obviously so much <laughs> blush that i need to go through so i'm gonna keep that here for now let me put all of these back in there okay so these are the maybe blushes and i'm just gonna swatch them to see if i want to keep some or not uh, this first one is the ColourPop blush in Cottage Life. Alright, so that's the ColourPop shade. It's a really nice color. It's a little bit deeper than most of the ones that I have. Let me swatch this one. This is the Fenty um, blush. This one's way of a more creamier formula, but I don't know if that's a good thing for me because it'll just look wet. This is in the shade Petal Poppin. Um, yeah, I prefer to uh, use products that do kind of dry down a little bit more satin rather than stay dewy on the skin. But that's a nice pretty pink shade. Um, but it's just really, really dewy. It just feels really dewy once I touch it. So, mm, because of that reason, I'm going to get rid of that one for sure. These last couple, let me swatch them. This one is a matte formula, and this one is a matte, but it has some glimmer in there, so let me swatch that. So this is the ColourPop shade right there, and then this is the Marc Jacobs Way Brighter. Um, let's see... I actually think the only one that stands out 
is that ColourPop shade right there. I don't think I will keep any of the other three. So these three I'm getting rid of and just gonna keep this one. I might just put it in my bag for my car just to have it there. So I'm gonna keep that one as well. All right, thank you so much for watching this video and sticking around. Please leave me down below if you made it this far your favorite blush. Any type of blush, any formula, just leave me down below which one it is. I would really be interested in reading what that would be. And also, if you have a favorite bronzer formula, why not? Let me know. Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.